I thought we would try something a little different today. I thought we would be... Let me know if the background music is too loud. That's what DK was yelling at me for yesterday. He's like, your background sound is really loud. That's exactly what he sounds like. Like Mickey Mouse. So let me know if the background music is distracting. All right? Uh, yes. So I figured, why don't we have like, yes, we are gonna steal from Reddit. They steal from us, so we're stealing from them. So I figured we'd have like a little weekly chit chat, you know what I'm saying? Like, like we can look at the news of what's going on in Duel Links. We could look at some fat memes. We could look at some current events, you know, like um, like the Casey Cup happened. We could look at all that stuff. I think it's a good idea. You know, if you don't, let me know. Yes, and we're gonna steal. Reddit steals from us. My favorite thing, so Reddit stealing from us is the greatest thing. They'll take like, this part, this event information, they'll screenshot it. They'll literally screenshot it and put it on Reddit and not even credit the website. It's the greatest shit. Hi, Lord. Hi, Siege. Great idea, good. Do you guys have your coffee? Oh, my little thingy's cut off. Hold up. There. I wanted to put it in front of the thing. And I made I made the UI right now. That's why I'm 20 minutes late. <laughs> and um, yeah, there it is. It's looking looking pretty great. Yes. So we're gonna steal from duelingsmeta.com, considering. It's technically my website, so could use whatever I want. And we're gonna steal from Reddit because they can't stop me. <laughs> so what should we what should we call our segment? I was trying to come up with cute little names um, last night and I came up with morning coffee with Sin. We drink our white bitch iced coffee. If you're not a white bitch, you can always be a white bitch on the inside. It's very simple, all right? You just drink iced coffee. You complain a lot, all right? It's not hard. I believe in all of you. You can all do it. And we're gonna, we're gonna look at the news. We're gonna look at the memes. We're gonna, we're gonna spend some time together as a family, all of us. Hi, grapefruit. So, if you are, uh, yeah, MP3 player knows. <laughs> it's, it's also afternoon here, but considering that I just woke up, it is the morning, all right? So, if you did not know, Yugi event, hooray. I don't know if you guys know, but I am, I hate uh, Duel Links events. I hate them with a, a strict passion in my soul. They are not fun, they are tedious, and they are stressful. However, yay, Yugi's event. No, White Bitch and Karen are very different, all right? Very different. White Bitches, we don't yell at people. All right, we complain quietly to ourselves. All right, we, we want our caffeine. We wear Uggs. We're not hurting anybody. All right, just trying to live our lives. All right, however, hi, nine. Nine G, nine ghost. Oh my gosh, it took forever. <laughs> um, 
However, events like these where they do special stuff, like as far as I know, in this in this event, some of your cards do like triple damage or something. We'll get there. All right, we'll get there. I like those because it's different. If I don't have to farm at the gate, I'm good. All right. So my girl is white and she yells like a mofo, so she ain't white. Listen, if you ain't complaining quietly, then you ain't white, all right? <laughs> all right. This event takes place from November 22nd to December 22nd, which was yesterday. So good luck. Uh, start farming. We don't have a lot of time. Well, actually we have a, wait. How much, how much time is that? One week and two days, okay? A week and two days and a day is already passed. By the time I upload this video, God only knows what day it will be. So you have a few days. <laughs> Good luck. I, yeah, you're right. I just bitched loudly, but that's the Italian in me. <laughs> So you can unlock Yugi's new skill, which is from what I know lit as hell. And that is Pathway to Chaos. It can be used by sending one Karibo monster from your hand to the graveyard. Change one of the following monsters you control to another monster. So you have to have a Karibo monster in your hand and one of these monsters on the field at the same time, all right? A monster whose original name contains Gaia the Fierce Knight, and you turn him into a Black Luster Soldier, or a monster whose name is Black Luster Soldier, and you turn the Black Luster Soldier into a Black Luster Soldier Super Soldier. So you super him out, and Karibo monsters are pretty good. Regular Karibo, okay. Sphere Karibo, lit. So, you know, this is, this could not be that bad. I'm very excited for this. Um, how do I unlock the skill though? Do I unlock it in the event like it's a prize or is it, random drop, I'm going to kill myself if I do not get this skill. It's meme, listen, I love memes, all right? So you'll duel against legendary and standard duelists to get your traces of Aigami. If you remember the Aigami event, I actually really liked that event. It's probably the only event that I did like. So you get your traces of Aigami, 60 traces per day through rank duels, so that's, Probably my biggest gripe with Konami is that these events are PvE and like nobody wants to freaking do that. So you get to do rank duels here as well. The raid duels are similar to Tyranno Hassleberry where you have a lot of life points and then you chip away at the life points and if the duel ends, then you when you go back into it the next time, it saved your progress. So if he's got 10,000 life points and you did 5,000, the next time that you duel him, he'll be at 5,000 life points and you can continue from there. In duels against cubic monsters, high level monsters require no tributes, another one of my favorite things. So you could slam out a blue eyes white dragon if you want to. <laughs> Hi, Deathlings. Thank you, Dread. Then the new mode, Dimension Duel EX, is similar to Turbo Duels, where you get your willpower, and then you could use willpower to deal more damage. Dark Magician and Blue Eyes deal triple damage. Egyptian God cards deal five times the damage, which is arguably not enough to get, if you can get out an Egyptian God card, I feel like you should just win, okay? Earn chests after defeating the Cubit monsters, similar to Esper Robo's Duel Carnival. Earn special rewards based on your damage rank, which is the highest damage you deal against a cubic monster, and keep dealing damage to earn points for rewards. Yeah, it's a good time to meme with the god cards. It's like literally the only time it's worth it. 
No more magician stuff? Well, we got magician stuff here. Well, actually, we just got magician's Valkyrie. I don't know how, how good that is. Uh. Okay. So for your event rewards, we have some new cards. We have Gaia the Fierce Knight Origin. Level four, 1600 attack. He could be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a warrior monster. So he could be treated as two tributes for a guy, the fierce knight, for your Yugi skill up there. You can use the following effects of guy, the fierce knight origin once per turn. You could send one level five or higher monster from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. During the battle phase, a quick effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one monster on the field whose attack is different from its original attack. Its attack becomes its original attack. Okay. Um. Eh. 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 All right, next. These are all old. So I'm just gonna assume that, you know, you don't, you don't care because they're old and they're obviously garbage. But Magician's Valkyrie, 1600 attack, 1800 defense, level four spellcaster. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target face up spellcaster. Type monsters, four attacks, except for this one. Would these change them? Is that the correct language? Isn't the correct language supposed to be except for this card? What the hell is except for this one? <laughs> Seems Konami is Konami's getting a little weird with their their um, card effects here, their card text. <laughs> so on this side of the screen, you could see your rewards here. Get your Magician's Valkyrie. Get your Gaia the Fierce Knight. A lot of gems. It's just basically gems and your your Fierce Knight Origin, your Magician's Valkyrie. Then Forbidden Spill Skell Old card. It's gonna be used against witchcrafters. Forbidden skills and cards. You cannot use this skill for whatever the reason. Oh, reduce your opponent's life points to one and skip straight to your end phase. Okay, I could, I could see why. You cannot use this one. You can't use grandpa's cards. No, 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 Exodia for you. You cannot use fatal five. If a monster attack five times in one turn, you win the duel. No, you can't use that. Can't use Titan Showdown. Oh, they knew my plan. You cannot use a card entrusted. They do just don't want you to have a fiend sanctuary for some reason. And you cannot use destiny boards to like these ending the duel skills. I guess it might just break the event because you want to be doing damage, high damage in the event. It's kind of the whole point. So they're not allowing you to use those cards. And in raid duels, you just cannot use any of these. You can't use Amazon of Swordswoman. You can't use Gandora. For some reason, you cannot use Chaos Hunter because I said so. And a bunch of these other like damage modification um, cards here, burn cards, you just generally cannot use any of these. These are all banned in the raid duels. And then if you are looking to farm, which I, I use these, I use this deck. This deck right here, I use this deck. Uh, the last time I did the Igami event, something that looks like this. So here are some really great examples of decks that you can use. This one is for Auto Duel, and this one is for the Chaos Max, but I'll let you in on a little secret. I Auto Duel both of them. <laughs> I'm not about that life. So, <laughs> You could greatly just use this one, but I would take the website's advice and I would use this one for auto duel and then I would use this for the Chaos Max duel so that you could get higher points. But if you're really, really lazy like I am, I will tell you that on the Igami event, 
I just auto dueled the shit out of this event, and I don't think I ever like played a card on my own. So you can use these. Here is your extra deck for this. And then a brief little description of what to do here when you're on the Chaos Max uh, one is you play the deck like a normal Blue Eyes deck until you hit turn six. Then you're gonna activate Scorns of Ultimate Defeat to put Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon on the top of your deck. Then you will activate your EX skill to summon it from the deck without the need for a ritual spell. So Chaos Max Dragon will not need to be ritual summoned because you are gonna be using the event skill to put it onto the field. And that is how you're gonna farm. It is one of the better events because it's, there's not a lot that you have to do. It's very auto-y, it's very low stress, not a big deal. So good luck on Dimensional Disaster. I hope you guys get all the cards you need and your new skill. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like these type of events. Let me know what your favorite event is in the comments below.